And just like that, our current Shimano DI2 road group sets are outdated. Today, Shimano announced what we've all been waiting for for a very long time. The Durace R9200 and the Ultegra R8100 12-speed wireless, or mostly wireless, group sets have landed. Onto the quick summary because there's a lot to get through. Here are all the key points. Shimano Durace and Ultegra now move to 12 speed. The shifters and levers go wireless with an asterisk. The front derailleur and rear derailleur have been redesigned. They have faster shifting and they're all wired to a single battery up the back of the bike. The rear derailleur becomes a lot smarter. It now becomes the charge port, the function button and also acts as the wireless ant and Bluetooth module and also acts as a rear derailleur as you'd expect. There's a new Hyperglide Plus free hub and cassette standard, I guess you would call it, where 12 speed cassettes are backwards compatible with existing 11 speed Hyperglide. I'll get into why this is really good news later in the video. There are power meter options for both Durace and Ultegra groups. There's redesigned disc brake calipers and they've switched rotors. We'll get to those two in a moment. And there's new wheel sets across both Durace and Ultegra. Jumping to the promo video as supplied by Shimano, which shows a lot of what I've spoken about in full detail. So the levers come now with a LED light on them. They have been redesigned with a different shape. I'll talk about that in just a few moments. We see right here, and I'll hit pause there. Okay, that gives us an indication of how things will be configured and set up with this new wireless configuration for the supported wireless levers. So wireless communication from the levers down to the rear derailleur and the rear derailleur, front derailleur and internal battery are all wired together. That makes sense. That's where most of the energy is needed. Wireless shifting doesn't take a lot of energy. So it's a natural progression to move to a low energy battery up the front for that. So a lot cleaner setup and we'll continue rolling through this which shows all the other components in action. Rear derailleur. 12 speed chain. We'll talk about that in a moment. Big changes for the rear derailleur. Front derailleur, not a lot of changes. Crank set, looks very similar. We'll just hit pause on here. Very similar to the existing power meter crank set that they have. Fingers crossed there's a slight redesign to the right hand side. But it looks to be the same sensors on that. 12 speed rear cassette. Onto the new caliper and those rotors will look familiar. And onto the new carbon hoops. In all its glory. I do like the look of Jure stuff to be honest for road. And the new slick clean front end that we're all going to have, I guess, without all those wires and junction ports. Both of these new group sets, Durace and Ultegra, come in either rim or disc brake. And if you've seen the details on the screen there, Quite a surprise. The rim brake comes with only wired option for the front levers. If you want to go wireless, you have to go disc brake. You can also wire in the disc brake levers if you like. But where's the fun in that? Everybody wants wireless. Okay, a closer look at the components as we focus on Durace and Ultegra also receives all of these updates as well. Onto the shifters and levers first, wireless shifting with the compatible levers, taking a CR1632 battery with a claimed one and a half to two years of battery life, there's a redesigned shape to the hoods. They curve in a little bit and the levers themselves have been a little refined for a better feel of the buttons through gloves, so they claim. Uh, there are two shift buttons and a hidden D-fly button on top, so nothing changes there from previous models. Satellite shifters or sprint shifters will be wired into these levers, just like how SRAM do it with their wireless levers too. Onto the rear derailleur, and this one gets me excited. There are a lot of changes here. The rear derailleur is now the battery charge port. It's now the wireless module, so no need to buy the wireless module for ant or Bluetooth connectivity. It has the function button, and it also acts as the rear derailleur. Again, much like how SRAM have put all of those functions into the rear derailleur, Shimano have followed suit and jam-packed everything into the rear derailleur to make things a lot simpler. So that does mean no more DI2 junction ports are required to be installed on handlebars or under the stem or into the frame, and no need to buy the Ant or Bluetooth wireless module. It's all built in. This makes life very, very easy for installing these group sets. Uh, I'd also note they're still using the standard size pulley wheels, and they also claim faster shifting too on the back. The front derailleur, uh, redesigned to be smaller, faster, and I think that's about it for the front derailleur. Onto the cassettes and free hub with these new groups. Uh, there's two cassettes for both Ultegra and Durace, uh, 1130 and 1134. The free hub type standard is now Hyperguide Plus for the 12 speed road. The cassettes are backwards compatible with 11 speed Hyperglide Shimano, which means no need to change your wheel sets, your free hubs, or your direct drive trainer if you're upgrading to these 12 speed road group sets. That is very, very welcome news. 
these cassettes will slide on straight to the trainers that we have right now. Onto the crank set and not a lot of detail on the changes. They do list Holotech 2, the new models being around 50 grams heavier. That's a good thing when it comes to Shimano cranks. Power meter versions are not available until early 2022. And there's gonna be a lot of people asking the accuracy and reliability of the new power meter. So stay tuned for that. In regard to third parties using these crank sets as their power meters, and it looks like stages and four eyes are pretty safe given the left hand side crank looks pretty stock standard, allowing them to put their sensors on these new models and sell those. More on this when I get my hands on this crank set. Onto the chain, well, that's a simple one. They're using the same chain as the existing 12-speed mountain bike groups for Shimano, job done. Brake calipers and rotors, a few notable changes here. The caliper has been redesigned for a little more rotor clearance, hopefully a little less noise. The rotors are switching over to mountain bike style, which a lot of people are already running on their road groups at the moment. And there's easier maintenance with separate bleed port and valve screws. Quickly touching on the wheels, and there are new hoops for Durace and Altegra from climbing to all-rounder to aero. The notable thing here is they're offering a full carbon tubeless disc brake wheel lineup at the Altegra level. That's a first for Shimano. Finally, onto the shipping dates and availability. Shipping on bikes as of today, I believe they've been supplying these group sets OEM to manufacturers for a while, but that does depend on the manufacturer and their ability to get those bikes in stores. The group sets themselves will be Durace October 1st, Altegra November the 1st, and Power Meters, as mentioned, early 2022. As for the pricing of the groups, I only have the Aussie pricing, so I'll put those up on the screen here. Hit pause if you want to dig into all the details there. Okay, so that's it. That's what's new from Shimano. We've been waiting a very long time, and that all looks pretty good to me. Stay tuned, there's a lot more to come as these group sets hit the shelves and get installed on bikes, as I'm sure there's a lot more details to dig into, especially that power meter. I'm very, very interested in how that performs in the Llama Lab. I've got some history with Shimano power meters. And with that, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.